My name is Jonna Jintom. I'm a Swedish photographer and artist, and I'm going to tell you the story of my journey. I took the most important decision of my life in 2010. I decided to leave my life in my hometown Gothenburg. I left the apartment and quit the studies. My heart was longing for something else. Nature and silence. I moved to this place, Grundtjärn, a little village with 10 inhabitants in the north of Sweden. A village where I have my roots since 12 generations back. So actually, it was like coming home. When I first came here, I had no plan, no money and no job. But I had a dream. I wanted to find a way to make a living so that I could stay at this beautiful place that felt like home in my heart. The first year in Grunshan was very challenging. Long cold winters, a constant worry about money and an old house where it was a full-time job just to keep warm. A time when my limits were constantly tested. But during this time, I found my passion in life. I started with photography and filming and writing. And I started a little blog so I could share moments of my new life and express my love for nature in photos and words. And I also bought a dog Nanok, that became my best friend ever. Living so close to nature awakened something in me. I felt an urge to create. And it became my biggest passion to continue creating and moving people with my art. It's now been eight years since I moved, and I still live here, in my little house under the northern lights. From here, I run my own business, Jonna Jinton Sweden, where my mother Anita is employed as an administrator. I spend my days doing photography, filming, creating music, painting, writing, and all the things that my heart wants to express. And through all my social media channels, I reach over a million people every week. I live together with Johan, my soon-to-be husband, and recently he started working full-time as a silversmith in our own jewelry brand. And I still have my fellow friend Nanook, and two cats, and a cow, whose name is Stjärna, which means star in Swedish. And still, my wish is to give something beautiful to this world. Something that breaks through our barriers and reaches the soul. And one of my photos will now be sold worldwide as a canvas on IKEA. The photo was taken just some minutes from where I live, an early morning in October, from an old bridge that my grandfather built 80 years ago. One of all the magical moments that I've got to experience during my years here. I have learned so much during these years. Most of all, 
that feeling grateful for the small things in life is the key to the big things, and that it's only we, ourselves, that sets the limits of what is possible and not. And to have patience and never give up. And never be afraid of losing your feet on the ground. Because sometimes that can be the best thing you will ever do. I've heard a story, I've heard it said. I've come to believe that love is a bet. Sometimes you win and sometimes you